what's up guys, my name is Faison and in this video I'll be going over compound levers for a Science Olympiad mousetrap vehicle. So if you want to learn how to improve your car with compound levers, make sure you stay tuned until the end. If you're new around here, I post videos on Science Olympiad building events every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you're interested in Science Olympiad, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as ring the notification bell to be updated every single time I post a new video. But with that said, let's get right into the video. All right, so right now what you're looking at is the mousetrap vehicle that is using a compound lever, which are these three black things right here. So basically what a compound lever is, is a compound, very self-explanatory. It has multiple levers, so it's compound and it just changes the amount of string you're able to pull without changing the length of your lever arm. And it also increases torque because you are pulling more string with less of a distance, or, or probably the amount of less string or more string compared to an arm that is the same size without these extra two right here. So basically the way it works is that you have these three lever arms that are right here. So when your mousetrap vehicle is locked, they all three come back and then well, as they come up, the, well, the string will be pulled through these, through these little hoops and that's how you pull your car. So the way you want to set up a compound lever like this is you want to have three because three is the best, three will triple the length of your lever arm. So if your lever arm is 10 centimeters, if you have three equally sized um, lever extra lever arms then you'll be able to pull 30 centimeters of string but if you didn't have these two you'd only be able, only be able to pull 20 because you're only able to pull two times the length of your lever arm without compound levers but basically what you want to do is you want to get these extra two arms and you want to set them at a 60 degree angle from each other so 60 degrees from here 60 degrees from here 60 degrees from this the, the base of your car and after you do that, you should be able to measure. So this length is the same as this length, which is the same as this length, which is the same as this length. So all these are equilateral triangles and you should be able to pull three times the length of your string. So just to show you how this works, I guess, I'll sort of wrap this around and I'll sort of demonstrate how it opens up. It's pretty, it's pretty cool if you look at it. So right now I'm just winding up the car, like I said. So if you just look at the way it comes out, everything gets through these hoops and you have it connected at the main one. And then these hoops just guide it so that you're able to, you're so, that, so that you're able to do a lot more. So right now if I, let me try to get you a good angle. So right now if I let go, like that, and put a lot of speed on there, like this is, this is like 15, between 15 and 18 centimeters long. And that just, you could, you could hear that. That's a lot of spin on this. Like if you only use a regular arm, then you wouldn't be able to go or have that much torque. So if you want to go a little bit faster and a little bit farther, you want to try using compound lever arms. So if you want to build it, like I said, you need three arms. You can use string. This is just some dental floss that I also found works pretty good, but you need some string and then right here you need a way to connect them. I have this little tiny bolt right here that holds everything together and then I have nuts to secure everything. And then I just use some string, hold everything together here. If you don't have string, dental floss works very good. And then you just need some string to hold everything together. And then you need to, again, make sure you're connecting in between each, each, different, uh, each different arm to make sure that they will come out 60 degrees apart. So this string holds these two together, this hold, holds this to the car, and then this holds this to this arm. So that will let, it, when, so that will let all these arms pull at the same time. So once this one pulls, then this one will get stuck, then this one will get stuck, and then this one will hold everything together. And then that's it. Basically, you just need something to hold everything together. You need some nuts or something to secure them. You need some string and then you need three arms and you should be able to make a pretty good compound lever for your mousetrap vehicle. If you found any value in this video, make sure you hit the like button. Drop any questions or feedback down in the comments below. Finally, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel because I post videos on Science Olympiad building events every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. 
But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.